she has a disease. Now, even her menstruation has gone wrong. Who can she tell about her diseased period? How will she get pads when it isn't school and her mother is dead? I have no plan. At each creek, I stop. The particles of sound dissolve. The shadow of the tree branches scratches the wall. He will think these sounds are the wind, small animals. I hold the doorknob, turn it back. Halfway down, I should not have come, but now it's just as far to go back. The hall is quiet. They have finished for the night. I reach the bathroom and I can pee. The toilet is a warm cradle. I wake still peeing in the cold light. The pee cools the flannel cold between my legs. Through the sheet. Quick, quick, before the mattress. If I take the sheet downstairs, he will know. If I pull it off and hang it over a chair, he will know. If I leave it on the bed, nothing will dry. If I don't hurry, he will suspect something. He has been beating her every night. If he finds out I've been peeing the bed again, he will kill her. I fold my pajamas with the sheet, pull the blankets over the wet spot. My brothers have gone downstairs. I should have gone right after them. If I don't hurry, he's going to notice. I have no plan. In this quiet, what if I throw up? On the dresser are the watercolors I used as eyeshadow. He caught me. Please, God, I will throw them out. I will not go to the drugstore with Carol, who bought a Revelo and then stole lipstick from the basket by the cash. I hear the door. He is coming up. I am going to vomit. And the tree will still be there, and he will find me. I open a drawer, stuff it all in, Pull on my clothes from yesterday, the stockings bagged, insect repellent smell under the arms of my shirt, the skirt creased where I folded it to make a mini.